This is Mission Control. We want to welcome you to today's Space Station Live. It is Wednesday, August 28th, 2013. This is a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This team today being led by Flight Director Tony Sikachi. He's there in the white shirt sitting uh, to his right, but uh, on your screen to the left is Serena Onan. She is the Capcom today. She'll be the one talking to the crew up in space. Expedition 36 currently on board, including on the far left there, Alexander Mazurkin there in the center of the screen, Pavel Vinogradov, as well as Chris Cassidy back there at the back. On the right half of your screen is Karen Nyberg on the far right, Fyodor Yurchikin there in the center of the screen, and then Luca Parmitano there uh, at the back standing beside Chris Cassidy. The crew is spending the day working throughout the entire complex on a variety of different uh, robotics, experiments, and also some routine maintenance. Robonaut uh, is out today. Chris Cassidy spent some time earlier this morning setting up Robonaut, and as you can see, Robonaut there flexing his hands and his fingers uh, being put through the paces by the ground teams here in Houston. Uh, these checkout procedures of this robot uh, have been continuing for the past several months, and uh, this week will be no different. Robonaut's got a few different tasks in front of him, including manipulating his task board. Uh, this is basically a big project board uh, that he can move switches and try different things. He can also move his arms around, flex them, make sure that uh, everything is up and running as expected as these checkouts on this big robot uh, continue on board the space station. Cassidy also busy today setting up what's known as the Frost Freezer. Uh, this is another one of these experiment refrigerators that uh, was flown up on board the HTV-4 that is the Japanese cargo vehicle that is currently docked uh, with the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. This Frost Freezer uh, keeps things and experiment samples extremely cold uh, and can also function in the event of a power loss, which of course we don't expect. Uh, but it is important that these refrigerators uh, and these freezers stay extremely cold uh, in the event of that power loss so that uh, the samples uh, are not ruined. Luca Parmitano working on the BioLab. This is one of the racks that is inside the Columbus Laboratory, the European laboratory on board the space station. This BioLab is a big rack. Uh, that is used for different experiments like microorganisms, cells, uh, tissue cultures, and uh, even small plants. But there's a microscope on that that has some uh, micro cassettes that are used for data uh, and other uh, items that are gathered as the crew uses that microscope and the ground teams watch along. Uh, but uh, it's not functioning as expected, so he's doing some repair work on it as the ground teams there in the Columbus Control Center watch along uh, as he completes that. Karen Nyberg is doing some surface sampling. This happens from time to time aboard the space station. They do some swabbing, making sure that everything is uh, as expected on the uh, station surfaces and the parts that the crew members touch. It's just like cleaning your house. They have to make sure that uh, nothing uh, is uh, growing there that shouldn't be. So she'll be doing that later on today and uh, taking those samples. Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin have been stowing some tools today. Of course, these two gentlemen completed two uh, spacewalks back to back over the course of a week. The last one taking place last week, so they're uh, stowing everything that they used during that uh, in the Russian segment of the space station that'll take up the majority of their morning and into the afternoon. Vinogradov has been working on what is known as the lower body negative pressure uh, device. What this does is it's a pair of trousers or pants that the crew members put on. Uh, and they run some tests on them or they uh, do some exercises. Uh, and what it does is basically mimic what happens to the crew whenever they come back to Earth. Uh, the uh, crew members' bodies are not used to being on Earth since they're up there for about six months. So what these LBNP pants do is basically draw the blood away from the head uh, to sort of recondition them to get ready to come back to Earth and also to find out how they react to that. So he'll do that later on uh, this afternoon. Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, Pavel Vinogradov also getting ready to come home. They are in their final days aboard the orbiting complex, so they've got some uh, packing to do before they come back to Earth the night of September the 10th or the morning of September the 11th over there in Kazakhstan. So they're spending about an hour today uh, packing up the things that will come home aboard the Soyuz. Of course, they're going to be coming home aboard the same vehicle that brought them up to the station back in March. So everything coming to a close for these three gentlemen. The crew also has several different crew Earth observation targets for today. They've got a chance to take a look down at the planet below and take some photos if they have time. They're going to be taking a look at the floods that are happening in Pakistan. There's uh, been a ton of rain happening uh, since the early part of the month in that part of the world. There's about a million people that are affected by these floods. But uh, these floods have destroyed more than 10,000 homes. So if they have a chance to uh, take some photos of that area, they will do that as they pass overhead. They also have a chance to... Uh, on this next pass, if you take a look at the orbit there, take some photos of the Mississippi River Delta. 
Uh, as you know, the Mississippi River uh, flows with uh, quite a bit of force down into the Gulf of Mexico, and all the sediment that comes out of that river uh, has been deposited into the Gulf of Mexico over eons. And uh, all that sediment has actually advanced the coastline by up to 50 miles over the past uh, 5,000 years, which sounds like uh, a long time, but it really isn't in terms of advancing that coastline. So if they have a chance to uh, take a photo of that, they will. We also want to show you a uh, fairly dramatic photo that the crew uh, captured day before yesterday of these fires that are burning in Yosemite National Park. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite an incredible image there of these fires that have destroyed about 287 square miles. Uh, there's about uh, 7,000 firefighters that are fighting uh, these fires as we speak there uh, in California. And of course, if you would like to take a look at that picture uh, a little bit longer, just log on to the NASA website at www.nasa.gov station. And finally today, we're going to have a crew news conference beginning at 1 p.m. Central Time today, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. The crew that will be flying toward the end of this year up to the space station will be here to answer questions from uh, social media members as well as the traditional media. That'll be Koichi Wakata from the uh, Japanese Space Agency as well as Rick Mastrakio uh, from NASA and Mikhail Tiran, who is, uh, of course, a Russian cosmonaut. So those three will be on the air live here on NASA television talking about what's ahead for them.